Hey guys, Joelster here. So on my previous video, I show a preview on how I modify my PlayStation. I call it the Retro PS5. It is now silver with the original PlayStation logo. So it kind of looks like a PS1. Well, at least the colors. And instead of the popular matte black, I added carbon fiber to the center panel for a more modern look. I also did some modifications to the controller. I changed the lower face cover to silver to match the PlayStation and also added carbon fiber vinyl to the touchpad and the original PlayStation logo to the center button. So if you want to know how you can modify your PlayStation like this, this video is for you. Welcome to the channel guys, I'm Joelster and let's do this. All right, so I'm going to give you a list of what you need and how much this is going to cost you. All the links are going to be in the description of the video. So first, you're going to need silver vinyl. The roll of 12 inches by 6 feet will cost you less than $6. So it is very affordable. You won't be using all of it, but that's good because just in case if you make a mistake, which most likely you will. All right. Second, you're going to need the carbon fiber vinyl. Once again, you won't be needing much. So a roll of 12 inches by 60 inches will do the job. This will cost you roughly around $9. You can also choose different colors like silver or red carbon. The kit also comes with a cutting knife and a hand tool for application, which will come in handy. For the controller faceplate, I went with silver. This will cost you around $10. There's also different colors to choose from. I also bought some blue covers for the second controller, so you can choose whatever color you like best. Now, you can find the logo on Etsy for around $7. Sometimes they ship from the UK or Canada, so it will take longer depending where you are. But if you want to buy it from Amazon, the price is around $13. So choose the option that works best for you. Same with the controller logo. I actually found a better option, which includes the PS button and the share and create button in black for $9. I'll probably order that set for the other controller. You may also need some scissors and tweezers to make things easier, but they're not necessary. All right, so that brings a total of around $41 to modify your PlayStation 5 console and controller, depending where you buy the logos. All right, so let's begin with the installation. So before we start, we need to remove the plates from the console. For this, you need to pull and push downward at the same time from the top left corner where the logo is at. And same for the other side. Once the plates are removed, cut the vinyl to the size of the plates. I have the digital edition PlayStation, so I don't have the disk drive bump nor the slot to deal with. So the application is a lot easier. Then you can start applying the vinyl to the plates. Just be sure the plates are clean and free of dust before the installation. I start by the center and I use a hand tool to remove all the air bubbles. If they persist, you can pull the vinyl and repeat the application. This can take several attempts, so don't get frustrated if you didn't get it right the first time. Now you can start cutting the excessive vinyl with the knife around the plates. I take my tongue with this because I want it to look clean. I also check for air bubbles and pop them with the knife as well. Mine didn't come up with perfect. Sometimes the bubbles just won't leave, so you can do this step until you're satisfied. For the carbon fiber application, I cut a piece the size close to what I need for the center plate of the console. I start from the center and then the top and then the side. Now be sure it is straight and center or you will have problems when applying it. Once it's done, you can start cutting the extra vinyl with the knife. Now for the power button, I press the vinyl and then cut around it and same with the USB ports. This is very easy to install. I had zero issues and it came out very clean. Now it is time to install the logo. This is super easy once the plates are removed. There's actually a place for this on the console already, like if it was designed for this. Now let's move on to the controllers. To remove the face plates, I use the guitar pick. You can use a kitchen knife or any flat tool to lift the lower part of the covers. Continue using the tool until the cover is loose and lift it to remove it. Yes, it, 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 it. 
As I mentioned earlier, you can buy different colors. Now with the cover off, I installed the PlayStation logo. I found it easier this way. I cut the logo I needed, I cleaned the surface area, and used the tweezers to apply it. This process is also very easy, just be sure it's well aligned. Now to install it, it's kind of tricky. Start by inserting the top pointy part of the covers into the controller. That may take several attempts, but once they're in, you're all set. All you need to do is just press on each side and at the bottom and you are done. Now for the touchpad, I use carbon fiber vinyl. Before installation, be sure to clean the surface. The carbon fiber has a pattern, horizontal or vertical, so use the one that you like the best. Now cut a piece close to the size you need to cover the touchpad, install it, then press around the edges so you know where to cut, and then cut the excessive vinyl with the knife. And you are set to go, my friend. And this is the final result. I really like how everything looks. I noticed that there are some people that went completely black with the controllers and console, but that looks just like the previous generations. I want it to be different, but at the same time, I wanted to keep it classic. I also purchased the black covers just in case if I want to go full black ops, but they look nice, but they don't have the opening for the logo. And that was a big letdown for me because I wanted the logo to show. But I gotta admit, the matte black does look great with a carbon fiber. These are high quality covers, so if you don't mind about the logo, then these are a great option. I got them from CMP Chels for $50, so if you're interested in buying them, I will leave a, leave a link in the description of the video. But what do you think? Black with carbon fiber or the retro mode? Let me know in the comments below which one you like the best. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content. I'm Jolster, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.